So I was having a conversation today at work with my boss and the new supervisor who's replacing me and it was a lot of fun to the point where I needed to make a video about it. We were talking about quirky things that we all did uh, that made us weird, that other people wouldn't understand, right? Now I know I have a lot of those, so I made a mental list and then actually transferred it to paper so I wouldn't forget them, right? Because I wanted to make a video about it because I know you motherfuckers love my videos and yes, I'm gonna say that every single time and people that don't like my videos, I don't trust them because you're a herb. All you. Anyway, you like my shirt? Go blue. Bam, dan, 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 dan. My wife loves that shit. Anyway, so some weird shit that I do, right? You guys, from my videos that you all watch and you all love, you guys all know that I eat Skittles in a weird way, right? So th this list is along those lines, weird shit that I do like that, right? Um, what started it off was the volume on the TV, right? So I don't even think my wife knows this, but I have to have the volume as long as I'm controlling the volume. I have to have the volume in increments of fives. That being said, if my surround sound goes from zero to 100, I cannot have the volume at 22. It's either gotta be at 20 or 25. The volume cannot be at 44. It's gotta be 45 or 40. Or, or uh, most times I'll go up to 50, just say fuck it, 50. Because that's when it starts to get too loud and the wife starts to bitch, right? 50, because it's, it's kind of loud, right? So yes, my increments of five, my, my volume has to be an in increments of five. In the bedroom, it doesn't go anywhere over 25, but it cannot be like a 16. And it drives me crazy because I see my wife do it and it drives me nuts and my OCD is like, ah, I need it on increments of five right when I clean the table after dinner this is weird and I never noticed I did this until a few years ago that my wife pointed it out and now I'm very conscious of it but I still do it right I can't not do it so when I'm cleaning up the table I always have to leave one thing behind whether it be a napkin whether it be the ketchup whether it be a, a, a fork it, I have to leave one thing behind I don't know why I do it there's no logic behind it I've got no reason subconsciously I do it and I can't explain why been doing it apparently my whole life and I never noticed it until my wife pointed it out but now I'm very conscious of it and I still do it because fuck it right Okay, so I found out today that I'm weird for the way I make my peanut butter and jelly. Now, years ago, I read an article um, about peanut butter and jelly. Apparently, there is 84 different ways to make a peanut butter and jelly. And apparently, those 84 different ways describe who you are, what your character as a person is. Craziness, 84. It's really, really difficult to, to think of 84 ways, but if you really think about the minimal different changes between this and this, you could probably come to the conclusion that there really is 84, right? So the, what makes me weird about how I make the peanut butter and jelly is, boom, two pieces of bread. Got the bread out, we're good to go, let's go. First of all, it's great fucking jelly, okay? People that use strawberry jelly, I don't know about you, I don't trust you motherfuckers, and you guys are herbs, because that shit is nasty. Grape jelly is where it's at. Peanut butter and jelly is peanut butter and grape motherfucking jelly. So anyway, so when you put the typical person, I'm not gonna tell you how I make it first, right? I'm gonna say typical person, peanut butter on bread, jelly on the other on the other piece of bread, put it together, eat. Okay, here's the thing. When you put the peanut butter, when you put the butter knife in the peanut butter <clears throat> and you spread it on the bread, and you got peanut butter remnants all over that butter knife. What are you gonna do with that? Everybody has a different method, right? Some people put it on the side of the bread, you know, on the other on the other piece of bread. Some people use the side of the inside of the canister of the peanut butter, okay? But I think we can all agree that peanut butter is much stickier than jelly. Granted, when you get it on your fingers, jelly's more, more stickier, but it sticks to the knife more, peanut butter. So me personally, I put the jelly on first because I can take that jelly on the knife, the remnants of the jelly on the knife, and put it on the other piece of bread that comes right off that hoe. So peanut butter next. So I don't mix peanut butter in the jelly jar and I don't put jelly in the peanut butter bar, in jar, not bar. So because I put the jelly on first, people find it weird. Now, another thing I do when it comes to peanut butter and jelly, because I'm a fat fuck, is while I'm making it, nobody likes the heel of the bread. And which, by the way, do you call it the heel of the bread? I'm asking you out there, you people that love my videos, because you're not herbs, and I trust you. So I'm asking you, do you call it the heel of the bread, that butt piece, the one on the very end, on both the top and the bottom? I call it the heel. I always thought that everybody called it a heel. Apparently today I found out that not everybody calls it that. Most people didn't know what the fuck I was talking about. So anyway, while I'm making peanut butter and jelly, I take the heel of the bread and I friggin' slather that bitch up in friggin' peanut butter because I am fat, and I fold that shit in half, and while I'm making my peanut butter and jelly, I am chomping on this half, on this, on the on the folded up heel full of peanut butter. Because why not have noms while you're making noms? You know what I'm saying? That's the fat boy in me. So, the jelly going on first is apparently weird. You take the two, because a lot of people put the jelly or the peanut butter on top of the one they already did first. All right, so that's another way, one of the 84. But when you take the two pieces and you slap them together like this, you people 
are the devils, okay? You're supposed to put, you're supposed to take the peanut butter because it, do, it doesn't move off the bread and put it on top of the jelly. People that put the jelly on top of the peanut butter, I believe are like risk takers. I think that was something like that because you're you're risking the jelly going everywhere. But the people that smush them together, I think like the, the it was like mentally challenged or something was like what, what, those, <laughs> what those people are called. But peanut butter, jelly, love, man, I miss peanut butter and jelly. Damn. Anyway, stupid keto diet. Uh, license plates, man. When I'm driving, like right now in front of me, the license plate is CBC 8115. I will take that right there and I will take those numbers and start mashing them up in my head and doing weird things. First of all, the CBC, I'm going to like try and like think of something like, like cold blood cobra. And stuff like that, right? I'll do that and I'll think of words with the letters, right? But 8115, I'll think like August 11th five but that wouldn't make any sense right so you would say like august 1st 2015 or i'll mix the numbers up, uh, up around i'll add them together and get and get 15 and then i'm like oh 15 but there is a 15 in there and then i'll just start i just play with license plates while i'm driving why i don't know been doing it since i was a kid i just like numbers i like acro excuse me i like acronyms i like initials don't know just love license plates but i see them all day long because of the traffic that i sit in just like i'm sitting in right now um okay so when i go on a plane now this is something I've never told anybody, but I did get it from a friend of mine. She's on Facebook. I don't know if she watches my videos. She may be a herb. I'm not sure if I trust her or not because sometimes she watches my videos, sometimes she comments, so I don't know. So Kathy and Janito, if you are listening, this is this is from you, something that I do. Um, years ago, I flew to Seattle with Kathy and she told me there was something that she did every time she got on a plane and I adapted it, adopted it because I love it. I think it's great. As you're walking on the jetway, uh, jetway, whatever it's called, that skywalk thing that leads up to the plane, right before you get into the plane, obviously you can see the door that's open, you see the metal of the, of, of the actual plane. So I have to touch it with my right hand before I step foot onto it. So if I have things in my hands, I need to shift them around and do something and struggle if I have to, but I gotta touch that plane with my right hand before I step foot onto it. Weird, can't even tell you the logic behind it. It was something that she did, she said she did it for luck, I loved it, I adopted it as my own, and I still do it to this day. That was back in 2000, so for 17 years I've been doing that shit, Kathy. Awesome. Um, singing a song, when I'm belting a song out as I'm listening through on the radio, if I'm, if I'm singing along, uh, and, and I and I mess up a word like a minute and a half into the thing or if I forget a verse or if like I check a text on my phone or, or, or whatever I get distracted and I don't sing it in full I will skip back to the beginning and start over because I know that I did not sing that song completely and I feel like I'm cheating the song out and I didn't sing it I didn't sing it to my my 100% potential right um, Tuesday. Oh, okay. So now if I go to a restaurant or especially fast food when I used to be a uh, uh, fast food eater um, If there was something if there was so most people would go there and be, uh, go to a place and be like Hey, let me get this but can you leave off this and can you leave off that now doing that at a restaurant is a little bit better I'll sometimes do that, you know Like I'd be like no mushrooms or no croutons or something like that But at a fast food place, I will never do that. I don't know why I honestly because it probably pisses off the 16 year olds that are working there and they're like, you know what man? Swah! And spitting that shit right because you're pissing them off and they're stupid and they're kids right but like I will never change that like so like for example if I didn't like onions I wouldn't get a burger that has onions on it I would just order something else I don't like to I don't like to alter food from fast food places at restaurants eh, I'll do it from time to time but I don't even like doing that to be honest with you um, women's pocketbooks or purses or whatever you want to call them bags or whatever I will not go in that hoe no I'm sorry it's not my bag it's not my business a woman's bag is that private thing I don't want a woman going in my wallet I mean I have but you know what I mean like I know I don't like I don't feel comfortable going especially I mean recently I have recently gone into my first one ever when Jackie made me do it because she gets so pissed off that I bring her bag there so Mrs. Miss dramatic over here so like if I need like her chapstick or her iPod or something like that and it's her bag, she's like, it's in my bag. I'll bring my, I'll bring her fucking bag to her. And now she gets mad. She's like, you said that, I just got it. And she like genuinely gets mad because you know, that's, that's something to get mad about. My dramatic wife, right? So recently I've had to go in it. Um, another thing, like some, like sometimes I'll take her car to work to, you know, save miles on my car or gas on my car or something like that. So I'll take her car, but I can't find her fucking keys because she doesn't hang them on the hook. She leaves it in the bag, which makes sense now. At first I was mad at, but she told me the reason why and it actually makes sense. So I'm not mad at her about it anymore but sometimes i gotta go in her bag to get the shit and i don't want to do that shit i don't like it i'm not comfortable with it i don't like it i don't trust it going into bags is herbs that doesn't even make sense but i like it because i fucking said it uh anyway um 
Okay, so if I'm introduced to somebody by their name, like Ronald or like Michael, I'm going to call them Ronald or Michael forever, right? So if I know somebody before they were married um, and I refer to them by their last name, uh, perfect example, I have a friend named Crystal, the last name was Froelich, I still call her Froelich or Kfro. She got married and the last name changed, I still call her Froelich. Um, there's a couple other ones I can't think of right now, but I have a I have a good friend whose name is Mookie. Okay, his real name is Michael, but guess what? I call him Mookie. Okay, um, I don't know him as Michael, and then you know he's getting older now, and professionally he needs to be known as Michael. I get it. Yeah, that's cool. But I know you was Mookie, motherfucker, and I ain't calling you Michael. No, I'm not doing that shit. That's not me. Um, every time I'm driving on the road and I see some roadkill on the road, when I see it, I get the chills. It's like, it's weird, it doesn't matter. I know that I didn't do it, but for some reason I feel like, especially if I run it over, I feel like I furthered its death. Because <laughs> I'm stupid and weird, I get it, but you love me. Um, kids, okay, so when I'm doing anything with the kids, whether I'm on like the bank, uh, my, the bank website and I'm transferring money to their account, or if I'm making a checklist of something I have to do with them or something like that, I have to go in age order. Um, I will either go oldest to youngest or youngest to oldest. It doesn't matter, but I have to go in age order, which really kind of sucks because my middle son, Nick, will never go first. <laughs> the only way Nick would ever go first is if I'm making a list of, let's say, just Nick and Gavin or just Nick and Ty. But if I'm doing all three of them, Nick will always go second, always, every single time, because I have to go in age order because I am weird. Um, last one I've got written here is when I put my shoes on in the morning at night, wherever I'm putting my shoes on, I always have to put my right foot on first. I feel weird. It does not feel right when I put my left foot into my left shoe first. Weird. I know. I don't know why. It just ain't right. And uh, the right foot's got to go first. So, man, I'm telling you, I probably got like a hundred more other weird things that I do. Um, but uh, that's all I got for now. There, it's possible because you all love my video so much and you are you obsess over watching these things um i will probably maybe i can make another one and add on the other things that i think about um you know give you guys a treat like that but for now that's all i got um i hope you guys are okay with with uh with this video ending because i know you love them so much um because people that don't love my videos are straight herbs and i don't trust them so uh yeah till next time motherfuckers